Welcome back to the Wildfire Video Tutorial Series. In this two-part video, we will show you many of the functions of the Rich Text Editor. Let's get started. The Rich Text Editor is so called to distinguish it from a plain text editor. With Rich Text, you see the text and page layout within the editor box as it will appear on the published website page. The Rich Text Editor has many features for formatting text, creating website page content, and laying out the page. These are accessed through the icons in the top bar. Let's look at the last icon first, as it has an especially useful function. While editing page text, you may prefer to enlarge the Rich Text Editor box to fill the entire screen. This gives you more space to work. Click on this icon. Click on the same icon to return the editor box to its normal size and access the rest of the features on the page editing screen. When using any of the Rich Text Editor functions, remember that changes will not appear on the website page unless you scroll down to the bottom of the page editing screen and click on one of the Save buttons. The Rich Text Editor has many text formatting functions. To apply any of them, use the mouse cursor to highlight the text you wish to format. Click on the drop-down list Normal to choose a font style. The various heading styles change the relative size of the font and make it bold. Click on the drop-down list Size to choose a font size. Click on these icons to make the text bold, italics, underline, or strike through. Click on these icons to make the text subscript or superscript. You may insert an image on the page. Place your mouse cursor inside the editing box where you wish to insert an image. Click on this icon. The task box Image Properties opens. To select an image already uploaded to the website, click on the button Browse Server. Double-click on an image in your Files directory to select it. A URL will appear in the indicated field. To upload a new image from your computer, click on the tab Upload. Click on the button Add an Image. In the new pop-up screen, Browse and select an image file from your computer. Click on the button Open. Return to the tab Image Info to enter image details. Enter the desired width of the image in pixels. Leave the aspect ratio, the small padlock icon, locked. The height will change automatically in proportion to the width preserving the image without distortion. Select the desired alignment of the image, left, center, or right. Check the box if you want to add an image caption once you return to the editor box. Click on the button OK at the bottom right of the task box. The image will now appear inside the rich text editor according to the selections made. Once you have inserted an image on a page, you may edit its properties by double-clicking on the image. You may also change the appearance of the image in various ways. In the Text Editor box, click on an image to select it. The drop-down list for font style, Normal, changes to read Styles. Click on the word Styles to open this list. 
Note that not all options are available to all users. You may change the appearance of the image by selecting one of these options. Full Width. The image fills the entire width of the web page. The ratio of height to width will be maintained so that the image is not distorted. When applying this feature for best results, the original image should measure at least 2,000 pixels in width. Parallax. The image fills the entire width of the web page and appears to remain fixed in place behind the rest of the page content when scrolling up or down the page. Some users will also see these appearance options. Grayscale. The image is displayed in gray tones. Sepia. The image is displayed in brown tones. Semi-transparent. The image is more transparent than the original. You may insert a table on the page. This is a useful way to organize related content, such as images and explanatory text. Place your mouse cursor inside the editing box where you wish to insert a table. Click on this icon. The task box Table Properties opens. Enter the number of rows and columns you desire. Enter the desired width in pixels of the table. To display a visible border around the table, enter the pixel value for the border size. For no border, enter zero. Select the desired alignment. Enter the pixel value for cell spacing. This is the space between table cells. Enter the pixel value for cell padding. This is the margin inside the cells between cell walls and contents. Click on the button OK at the bottom right of the task box. The table will appear within the rich text editor. Click inside a table cell to place content within that cell. You may insert a horizontal bar to separate sections of the page from one another. Place your mouse cursor inside the editing box where you wish to insert a bar. Click on this icon. The bar will now appear inside the rich text editor. You may insert a Google Map on the page. Place your mouse cursor inside the editing box where you wish to insert a Google Map. Click on this icon. The task box Google Maps opens. Enter a description of the location desired. This may be a country, city, or town name, a geographic region, a street address, or the name of an organization. Click on the tab Advanced Settings to specify the width and height of the map in pixels. Click on the button OK at the bottom right of the task box. The map will now appear inside the Rich Text Editor. This is the end of Part 1 of this segment of the Wildfire Video Tutorial Series.